Hey everybody, welcome back to Airport CEO. I think I've got enough money now to start actually hammering and on what I want to do. Alright, as long as I keep the clock running this whole time, I think I'm gonna... I think I'll just make enough money to like offset what I'm spending in real time probably, so... Uh, I, you're gonna notice it says negative 300,000 per hour. That's just because I just laid this down. And uh, so, this terminal is gonna have a lot of planes, all right? I think there's gonna be a lot of planes here. And it's gonna be a challenge to provide all of the necessary services to this many people in a, such a small space. But because we have check-in here, check-in and security, right? We're gonna do check-in and security right here. And uh, this might cause me to need to maybe readjust how these are, but I think I'm gonna use this whole area and uh, and then some. I'm gonna need to extend this. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to extend this. Uh, right to the parking lot? Yeah, right to the parking lot. We're gonna need to make this bigger. But uh, we're gonna make, yeah, check-in and we'll have self-check-in right here, of course. Now these guys are self-checking in and they're gonna send the bags that way. We're gonna need new self-check-in and that's gonna send the bags somewhere else. Uh, I don't know exactly... I'm not sure exactly how that works. I like how this guy's just stopping and looking at this. God, oh, it looks just like a real airport, man. All right, so on the side, uh, let's put the orientation what you guys are used to, which is right here. Okay, so here, here's we have all this stuff, right? All this is happening. I want to start de-icing, all right? We don't offer this as a service yet, and we should. So de-icing is like the last service we can offer. Now, the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a de-icing car. I'm going to have to have probably several of them, but... Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and buy one. Scroll all the way down and de-icing truck. Let's hire, let's get two of those. Uh, doesn't meet the requirements because I don't have the thing yet. Let's go get the thing. Okay, so I think I want de-icing to be right here. And I think I might have two runway, or two stands that de-ice. And then they're all gonna come into additional stands that are out this way. So what I'm thinking here is, and I realize this is, you know, these are the other, like the, I'm actually going to use the asphalt ones for this. Yeah, for the little, for the little ones, because, because the stands cost a lot, all right? This is 25000 extra dollars every time you do this. So, I think, um, maybe I'll put it here. Yeah, I think we can put it, put it right here. I'm trying to learn my lesson and leaving these two wide gaps for things. So, I'm going to put one right there. And probably another one right there. And that's going to be it for for gates on this side. Unless I want to do one. I could do them down here too. Gosh, there's like... That's a lot of... That's a lot of taxiing to get out to the runway. But it does technically happen. It can, it can happen. It can work. Um, but I want the de-icers happening too. So I think I'm going to put this over on the side. Let's see how big the de-icers are. So we want to do de-icing pad mediums. These are for the medium ones. And they are pretty big. And like, which side do I want to do this? So I'm, I'm tempted to put them uh, facing like this way. So they can come off the runway. If you need the de-icing service, you'll just go and get it. The thing is though, I don't think they actually go to the de-icer right away. Do they? I, I have no way of knowing. So I think what I'd rather do is put them this direction and let them exit and then go back where they need to go into the regular thing. So why, why don't we do that instead? I'm going to go here and I think here like that with the de-icers. Then for the taxiway foundation, we're going to leave this as the asphalt for now. And we're going to have the, the taxiway foundation. It's going to come all the way out and it's going to go about like that make it a little bit wider there and then we're going to go wider there and wider like that then we want the service road for this and we'll do this asphalt too just keep everything asphalt on this side service road here and we'll bring it up to this side and then this will be where the service road is for this Okay, so this is these are the de-icers. If they need de-icing, they can take a quick detour this way, get their stuff done, and then head out onto this taxiway that's over here. And this will sort of get them uh, off to where they want to go. 
At least that's the idea anyway. Make sure this is all built in. Make sure this is all built in. Wow, my, my son is going crazy upstairs, man. <laughs> he runs around like he's got so much energy now, you know? I, I, I gotta like, I gotta get in shape, man. I gotta keep up with him. It's it's actually pretty hard to keep up with him sometimes. All right, so we got the two service stands here and I think I wanna do more service vehicle stops. So this one's gonna go, um, this one's gonna go here and this one's gonna go here. And then I don't know if these guys need service vehicle stops or not. I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't think so because they're not a stand specifically. So I think I'll just have this be here. And since these two are here, I can probably put two more on this side over here too. So why don't we, why don't we do that? Why don't we have two more asphalt ones on this side? Let's leave a little bit of space and we'll put you like, uh, not on this side. We really do want you on this side. So we'll put you say like, I'm gonna leave one like this. Let's leave a let's leave a room for our service cars, and we'll space it out a little bit more and go there. Okay, and then the taxiway is there. Taxiway here, and it's gonna come all the way up. Just kind of mm. it's supposed to be three wide, right? I think these these planes are it's good to have them three wide it's okay to have them three wide this isn't gonna be centered it's gonna trigger people if I don't do it isn't it, it probably is we'll go like that with it and then we'll stretch this all the way like like this and then um, we want the stands again so let's grab the service car stops and we're gonna go like that and like that and then we want all of this to be a service road as well. So this is all service road two, all the way. Actually, it's right here. Yeah, this right here is service road all the way like this. But we can make this service road too, just because. All right, so there's extra stands, right? One, two, three, four extra stands. And I'm hoping that those four extra stands can be manned by other like, terminals and stuff over on this side and um not terminals the boarding desks okay the boarding desks can handle those now i'm really kind of a little bit confused on how this is working because most people are waiting here for their flight but then when it's time to go to their flight they will then get up and they'll walk and they'll head upstairs to actually board and then they'll end up being over here and these are automatically linked to these so like now I've got this one linked to that to that but I've also got the one below also linked to this and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be so what I was hoping to do is maybe move these over and maybe have like a total you know we need more buses and stuff right so uh, I was gonna maybe take and have this road I think I'm gonna have this road no longer, no longer exist. This is no longer gonna be a public road. And instead, this will be a service road and we'll have buses right here and the buses will take them where they need to go and out, and up and out, right? And uh, like, because I want extra stands. I want more traffic, I want more flights. And that's the only way to do it is just to get more stands. And we've got all of these stands here too to keep in mind done as well but um, we're building these out. Now, I also have kind of removed a lot of my my staff for construction, so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy them all again. I was trying to save some money while I was letting it play on, so bring the construction workers back in, see if they can help us out with this. But the de-icing, let's, let's offer this as a service, right? We want to do this, and um, in order to do that, we're gonna have to take the taxiway paths. So we wanna connect that up, and eventually we'll connect this up too. Looks like that's not going to be made. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is made. There we go. Looks like the service road is not being completed right there like that. Oh, it's already. Yeah, this is already a service road. That's why. 
All right, it's a little hard to tell sometimes where the roads are because they don't always show them. Like, this is a service road. We can see that clearly, but then, like, in this instance here, this is a service road as well, but you don't see it because the air pa the airways, the airplane taxiway, like, is right there. Like, that's the, the lines they're following. Oh, man. I got, the, like, really long, you know, for the runways. Like, it's really cool. All the lights are it's all lit up and stuff. I love it. This is a lot of maintenance, but despite that, we're, again, we're pretty efficient. We're, we're doing things really well, and we're making lots of money. So, um, But what I'd like to do here, it's going to take a long time, presumably, for these cars to get over here to deliver stuff. Right? Presumably, that zigzag is going to take a while. What I'd like to do is set up a shortcut for them. And that's going to go along my what I thought before. Like I'm going to I'm going to set up a shortcut right here. I don't know if it's going to be used, but I'm going to do it cuz I want to make a tunnel, damn it. So, we're going to take a tunnel right here and we're going to make this we're going to make this a tunnel down right here next to this building. And uh, it's going to go right there. All right, now that's gonna tunnel down. Now the problem with this, I think, if I pause this really quick, if I if I come down, yeah. The problem with this is that these lines are all gonna interfere with this. So it doesn't look like I can actually do that. So where am I doing? Maybe I could do it right here. Mm, if I do it right here though, is it, is it even gonna be used? I don't even know if it'll be used. I, I'm, I don't care, I want it though. Uh, we're gonna do service road tunnel down though, and um, I'm wondering if I tunnel down here, can I go lower now? Is that nah? We're gonna tunnel down right here. This road got broken up. Why? That's an interesting break in a road. Oh, it's because I removed the 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 st <sighs> I removed the service car stop because there was no point to having it there not linked to anything so there's no reason for it to be there so for this uh how about we put this right here or maybe flip it over yeah why don't we flip it over and we can put it like right here i don't know if that's even gonna i don't know what that's gonna do are they even gonna use it let's try it we're gonna lay that in and then uh we'll have the road go like that Service road will come down. Now it says I need a service road here, but really what that means is that I need the service road here. So now we can see the underside of this and I want a service road that's eventually gonna take them all the way over here. And um, I think I'm gonna whip them out right here. We'll have the exit to the tunnel be like right over here. Ooh, maybe right here. This'll fit. Yeah, yeah, this'll fit nicely if I can make it, if it may happen. Uh, tunnel, service road. Up. Hmm. It won't work. It'll work here though. Um. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe it will work. Tunnel down is what I really needed. Yeah, yeah it's still one too many. But I can have it here. And that's that's good enough. So we can go here, and that kicks them out, and then they can service themselves like around in this area. Uh, and that can get them over where they need to go with these planes and stuff. So maybe they'll take a shortcut. I don't know if they'll use it, but I'm gonna give them the option to do so. So we're gonna take and we're gonna take and go like that. And then the service road is gonna come over and around and connect up with this service road here. Okay? And then from down below, we're gonna have this road just taken straight over. It's going to be like a little, I'm not sure where the other roads are going to be because I want them to also go and use roads for this airport. But I think we're going to have this be. I almost, I'm really tempted to actually tunnel down lower, but I think I want the subway to go the lowest possible. I don't know. Let's, let's do it here. Come up like that and then we'll go over it like that. So hopefully this little shortcut that we're building is enough to get these guys to say, okay, I need to get over here. How do I get there quickly? Well, I could go zigzag, 
Zig, zag, uh, the, uh, I could do that, or I could just take the tunnel and go and I'm right here, and then I'm over here. I don't know if there's like a difference in travel speeds and all that stuff, though, so that may not be possible. Service road like that, and uh, looks like this is all... Well, that's connected now, yeah. And we can take you down to here and like that. Okay, you are gonna be connected to the baggage bay here. You connected to baggage bay here. You are connected to baggage bay here. And then uh, once this is built, we'll connect that too. But I also want you to be connected. We're not gonna build a jetway. Uh, how do I connect the stand? How do I connect the service stand? Maybe it has to be open first. I think that's probably what has to be open. Uh, so we have this. Okay, you are gonna be connected to baggage there. All right, now I just have to finish off my service roads. Finish off that one and then bring this one over like so. Okay, and then we are gonna go between these two like that. And, and then we want it to come over and around and take it all the way like that. All right, so we have the roads kind of all mixing in with each other. I can dig it. Do that too. Just like that. Perfect. Give me the taxiway paths. And... Wow. Until this road is complete, I can't do any of this. So let's speed this up. And then up here... We got another terminal idea here too. So, uh, terminal, and I got, again, there's a lot for these guys to build. This terminal is going to wrap a little bit though. Uh, and I don't mean like beatboxing wrap either. Um, we're going to take the concrete ones really quick. Let me do a service road right there so I don't forget. Mm, yes. And then the rest of this is terminal. So the terminal is going to be like that. And all the way over like this. And then we're also going to have the terminal is going to be down like this. At least to here and then over to there. At least this big. Okay. If I can fit more of these airplanes right here, then I will. All right. But we're going to get a whole bunch of these. And the cool part about this terminal is it's really long and all that stuff. And that's fun. But... Again, we're going to have them check in and get rid of their bags right here. This is the central hub for all the passengers, okay? Now, I don't know. that Maybe that creates a huge, like, block of traffic, and it probably does. It's probably a terrible, terrible idea. But I want to try it, so we are, okay? And actually, having an escalator that takes them to the second floor from outside would be kind of cool if this wasn't already a secure area. Hmm, maybe here. You can go outside, get up to the top, and then you can do stuff up here. Nah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even using a third. What do you even use a third floor for? Oh, we can use... We can have VIP lounges! on the third floor you guys the vip suites are up here oh ho, 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 ho. yes yes and more yes right here all of this needs to be built please as well mm -hmm. all of this hell yes <laughs> oh we're having too much fun you know you know we're having lots of fun vip lounges guys which you can have Come on up here, shop, enjoy the festivities. Enjoy your VIP visit in the VIP lounge. <laughs> now I've got pretty much all the research done and it doesn't look like there are any other check-in desks. So medium desks is all we have for check-in looks like. Yeah, so what we'll wanna do for this area we're gonna zip these bags through a security checkpoint 
that's going to happen right about here, right? So we're going to have a security area for bags, I think probably over here. But then if they pass that validation, are they going to be zipped up here? Nah. Meh. I might validate the bags in a building. I mean, I have, I have tons of room over here, you know? But I was thinking we'd validate the bags with security on this side and then zip them up. Uh, but that was back when the terminal was going to be over here. Now that the terminal is up here, though, I'm thinking maybe we zip them around there, go up here, and we can have the building be maybe here. And we can check bags and stuff there and then zip them over into the terminal and they can pick them up in there. And they're, you know, they're with the, the the bag checking area being right here and just being like, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. But we're going to wait for it just a little bit because I need this whole thing to be built first. I've got a lot of contractors on site, 168 of them. Let me see how our tasks are doing. Okay, we have a shortage in janitors and security officers. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get some more security officer. There we go. And you know what? We're going to need some more ramp agents. We're going to need tons and tons of ramp agents. Passenger service agents. We're going to need more of those too. Let's hire the good ones. And the final thing are janitors. Hire the decent ones. Get them in there to clean things up. Get them in there to clean things up. All right, so this terminal, right? I think you can kind of see how this is working, right? The planes are all gonna be sort of, they're gonna be flowing through here, man. We're gonna have tons of flights thrown flowing through here. Uh, and then I think I want de-icing to happen right here, but I don't know if I left enough room for that. So give me a second. De-icing, large. Oh, man. Um, I can make this happen. This is going to happen. We're going to put de-icing right here. Uh, speaking of de-icing, we're not, it's not working yet because we don't have the trucks and we don't have the depot. We need the depot. So, uh, $25,000 is the cost of this glorious depot. And this depot we're going to put, uh, let's just put it right. Uh, we'll put it right here. I'll put it right there. All right. And then once we have the depot, we need the trucks. I have two de-icers, so I guess I'm just going to buy two trucks. I don't see any other... Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. So two de-icing trucks, please. Does not have a depot. Okay, well, we got to wait for the depot to build. 168 workers, but rapid expansion. There's just so much to do in this game. I think we're getting close to the part, though, where you're about to ready to just sit back and bask in the glory of profits. I mean, all these pending construction, and yet I'm still over 100,000 uh, an hour. It's uh, kind of wild. This is the point of the game where you just go, what else can I do? Well, we can build a senseless tunnel. That's something we can do. That's not a, wait, that's not a service road? Is that not a service road? Did I build a public road here? No, secure location, not possible. All right. I'm pretty sure I built a service road. Unless it's not built yet. Gotcha. This isn't built yet. All right, then. Well. Wait. Wait a minute. You are ramping up, right? No. No, you seem to be... You seem to be not right. Huh? I don't think I did this one right. I'm going to demolish that one. Come over here. This one looks right. Yeah, this one's right. This one's wrong. We're gonna fix this one. Yeah, yeah, this one wants the service road on this. I, I just flipped it. That's all I did. I did it. I made a boo boo. I need it to be the other way. 
I'm also noticing that we're gonna have a lot of planes coming through here and you know, whipping their wings around this way too. All right, actually we need a taxiway path for this. So we need to have the taxiway. If you need to be de-iced, you're gonna come this way. All right, if you need the de-icing, that's where you go. And you're gonna eventually hook up with this path. You guys are gonna do the same thing. If I can just get my workers to build this. They told me that if I built it, they would, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. You guys get what I'm going for. It's a lame dad joke. By now, you're aware of it. So now at least you know what I was going to do, but I didn't actually do it. So you don't have to make fun of me for it. Although I will say that I do dad jokes really well, typically. I don't think uh, I don't think there's any debate over whether or not I can swing a, a good dad joke. Come on, guys, finish it up. Finish it up. Depot needs built so I can turn this service on, man. I want to offer de-icing services. Come on now, there we go. All right, trucks. We want two de-icing trucks incoming. Switch the operations tab and turn it on. Don't have the truck yet. Oh, we also don't have a supplier yet. All right, so sign contracts. Who is gonna, okay, we have Def Defrozone and Chemcorp. Okay. Okay, Defrozone and Chemcorp. Well, Chemcorp is a four star. It's gonna offer it to me for 100,000 liters per delivery, and they're gonna give me $5 per liter. Defrozone wants $7 per liter and pass. Chemcorp, you're the winner. There you go. You have the contract. Bye. Hey, OK Air. We're just going to sign a contract with all these airlines. Let's just get all these airlines on the books. All right. Tulip Airlines. Yeah, you're in. Awesome. And then since we're going pretty fluid now, since we're going pretty smooth, I'm actually curious on if you guys like how do I get buses I need to bus people to here right if these guys are all gonna be hooked up to the upper upper level which is what this is right these guys are all hooked up and, and like they're they're boarding too they all board through this and we charge them $16 for each of them we can charge them to go through that tunnel? Is this what airlines are doing? Screw you. And therefore, by extension, uh, screw me. Because, <laughs> wow. $16 to walk through that? Do I charge them to use the stair? To use the stairs as well. I didn't see any money passing. I didn't see any money exchanging hands when I when I did that. This one's boarding. Hang on. Did these? Do I charge these guys to get on this plane? Oh. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen looks like. Well, <laughs> I think if we're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Let's offer the de-icing service. I want to see how that works before I set it up on the other one. Uh, I say that as I'm actively building it on the other one. No, I'm not. I didn't do it yet. Good. Uh, I want to see how this works and how the flow works of it. How many planes usually need it. And then that will determine whether or not I can afford to have more terminals here. Or if this is going to be a row of de-icers. I don't know what it's going to... I don't know what it's going to be. But this terminal is gonna be sweet, man. I'm excited about it. I'm actually, I was really tempted to put another one here and just extend the building down a little bit. And I still may. But the other temptation was to put, actually, I'm not sure it can fit now. All right, where are you? Stand, thank you. Like this. This was the other temptation, right? But then we're going to have planes taxiing right there, right next to this runway. 
But if I get rid of some of this foundation, I could, I could jut it up to here. Ooh, now that's an idea. Boom, boom, boom. So many flights. It's probably better not to do that. Like, I don't even know if I can logistically handle this many planes as is. We're going to need like 100 ramp agents. I'm just going to keep hiring them. Because we're going to need so many ramp agents. Ugh, they're all bad. Reject them all. I need to keep checking that for more and more ramp agents. We can charge them $1,500 to use these runways. I'm curious. Can I charge you more? Actually, because of my flight limit, I can afford, I think, to maybe take this even closer. 60 minutes is pretty good, though. Yeah, 60 minutes is fine. Plus, we're, flu we're, we're going really fluidly, right? Infrastructure quality, 52, whatever. Airline consumables fees. Oh, you don't like the fees for our consumables. Is that is that so? Do you have a problem with what I'm charging? Where is it? It's oper I thought it was operations. Where's my fees? Job tasks are in economy fees. Passenger handling fee, $16. That's the $16 that we're charging them when they leave our airport. <laughs> Screw me, then. <laughs> uh, I actually should be charging more for fuel, too. So instead of the jet A1 fuel fee being 50 cents, we're going to increase that to 60 cents. Ooh, 20% increase. Doesn't seem like a lot. That's a 20% increase. Medium aircraft runway usage. We're gonna have that be 1550, thanks. Heavy aircraft runway usage, 2500, huh? We're gonna have that be 2600. Let's just nickel and dime them for all they're worth. Oh, look at the long-term parking fee. Short-term $10, huh? Per hour, oh, is that so? Um, okay, that's $11 now. Long-term parking fee. I, uh, I think that's going to be $6 now. Yeah, everything's going up. Why? Because you bitched. If you're going to complain, we're going to make it worth my while. If I have to listen to you whine, I'm going to make it worth my while. Okay, so this plane's going the opposite direction. It needs to be de-iced after it loads. This is loaded. Okay, so de-icing is something that happens after it loads. And then it goes. So this is the wrong positioning for these. I see. Okay. Um, that is interesting. That's going to screw up the workflow for this for sure. So I'm thinking this is now my de-icing. I move these over here. I move, yeah, I move these over here. And then my de-icing can happen here. Because that, that's, hmm. See, I didn't know how it worked, but now I do. So they're going to get de-iced, and then they're going to go. This requires them to go the wrong way. Yeah. They're going to have to go the wrong way on the runway. Uh, okay, how big are you? If I was marking you, how big are, how big are you? You are 44 by 44. Quowsers. You require basically no staff. Oh, do we need two trucks per stand? Looks like it. Oh, interesting. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm probably not going to have two anyway. Okay, so it looks like I need two trucks per stand. We can make that happen. But I still need to figure out the logistics behind that. That's 44 by 44. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if I if I just stop serving small planes entirely. Or I require small planes to land on this runway. And then they can make their way over here later. And then they can make their way up and leave. 
That might be a thing. Maybe I can bind the service because I'd like to have de-icing. I still want to do that. And I, I don't know how to do that without it looking weird because it's way over here. But now that I know how that's laid out, um, I know that the de-icing has to be happening over here. And the large de-icing is how big? Mm. This. Okay, it's basically the same. It's actually a little bit smaller than these pads. It's basically the same as these pads. All right, so we can have them be de-iced by making them come this way, get around, get de-iced, and then come back through. So I'm going to move these pads. So this is going to go away. We're going to say bye-bye to this 400... Oh, it's open? Why is it open? We're going to say bye-bye to this $400,000 stand. And we're going to say bye-bye to this $400,000 stand. And these two will get replaced with de-icers. And then this one can be another uh, actual plane stand. So we're going to move. Again, I wish I could move it, but it, does, it doesn't make sense that you'd be able to move these. They're concrete, right? So we're going to take and uh, get another aircraft stand here, concrete. And it's going to be like this. Yes. I'm actually tempted to... I'm very tempted by the idea of shifting this over a little bit and putting this right there. And I think I'm going to. I'm going to delete this stand too. It's the long term, okay? This is a long term project. And we want to have another, another ramp right there. So I don't need to have taxi services and all that stuff happening. I don't, I don't need that if they can all just ramp in here. And then we will have the buses. And the buses are going to be right here. And uh, we'll have, I guess, one, two, three, four buses. Four bus stops. And then they can get taxied this way. But all the other ones are going to be directly hooked up to the terminal. Now, these ones aren't working, and that's because I still need bus stops for these two. I'm curious. Can I hook up this bus? Hmm. I can't do that yet. Uh, I think you have to hook... Oh, you know what it has to do? This has to be connected to the shuttle service. So this one's going to connect uh, here. Hmm. Now... Do I have to leave this connected to this too? Wait, what happened to the... What happened to this? Wait. What? What? What happened to my... Wow, so just even starting that process... Yeah, it disc... Mmm. Okay. So I can't do that. Clear air side shuttle bus stop. If I say no, it still does it. See? That's what happened. I said no, and it still did it. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we want to reconnect the stand. No, currently... F okay, what is hap... What did I do? What have I done? Oh, it's, it's connected now? Can I do the thing? I have to build it again. $20,000 to build it again? Good lord. And it didn't even do it. Yeah, there it goes. So you're connected there, and then if I come down, you're connected there. Okay, so they both, both have to be there. Alright, no big deal. I just, I just didn't know that that's the way it was going to be. So, I guess the next thing to do then is to make all of this automated stuff happen for those bus stations. So... Uh, that's what we're going to want to do. And we want to connect the self-check-ins. Which I have too many. Yeah, I need to, I need to have these be... I wish I could move them. I want to move them this way. But maybe... Self-boarding gate. Yeah, so we just say self-boarding gates also on this side. This is really crowded to get out. Although, ever since I put this one in, I don't actually see people using this one much anymore. So maybe I can just get rid of this one and have this be all boarding. 
That's still an idea. Two. Uh, three. I think I'm going to, actually. I'm going to move. I'm going to remove this. And we're going to have these gates connected to the bus stations. And they're all going to get moved over here. And that's how that will work. I know I said I was going to do the big airport. And now I'm just, like, stuck on the little one for so long. I, I am building a terminal, okay? The terminal is going in, and I have explained all the things, okay? Uh, and I've, I've, I've at least, I've wasted at least $1.2 million. Uh, looks, yeah, at least. So, we're on the right track, at least. Uh, let's go with the stand. All right, so I want the stand. This stand needs to be directly connected to this like that. So I actually need to do, remove this as well. Because this needs to be, this road needs to be generated by the stand. But it doesn't, I don't need to do right all of it. I can just go like maybe like that. I don't think all of it needs to be done. Um, concrete stand. It's going to be like that. So I need to go one more in. And then from there, it's connected where I want it to be. So there we go. But you can see what I'm up again. You can see what I'm up to. I mean, that's that's a that's the big thing. And then the de-icing. It happens over here. So we put in the de-icing service, a large pad, and that's gonna happen over here now. And then I think I can move it this way, and then they can whip out and then and then go where they're gonna go. Yeah, it's probably better. It's it's more fluid that way, I think. So we'll put it on this side instead. And I think um, since there's nobody coming out that way, I can probably just... Mm, yeah, we don't need to stop anymore, actually, too. So this can go. And this can go. All this stuff can go. Awesome. We'll just get rid of all of that stuff. And then we need the taxiway, of course. And the taxiway is going to come out around this area here. Probably all the way at the end. I'll put it all the way at the end. Well, let's wait, because maybe it doesn't need to go that far out. We'll just get our money back really quick. So they're deleting this. It looks like dem demolition projects always take precedence over build projects, as far as like the order. At least it kind of seems like that way sometimes. Stand, large concrete stand. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put that in right there. And then another one goes in here. And then with that going in there, we want the terminal to be extended. Hi, can I have you? Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. We want the terminal to be extended to like at least here. So we'll bring it in like about like that. The rest of this is functional stuff for our service. People, ramp agents, but maybe baggage stuff can happen here. And then, um, although I was really hoping to do baggage here, but I, I'm, I'm leaning against it. I, I had an idea. I'm leaning against it. We'll, we'll see if we continue it. I have so much money, so maybe it's worth it. I don't know. The thing is, I can't have... So the idea is, right, we bring bags underground all the way into here. And this whole area here is responsible for all the baggage in this entire this entire giant terminal and then all these bags go get delivered to these these different uh, planes via tunnels we bring a tunnel from here and here and the tunnel kicks out here and here and they just go to the service way like that so they can tunnel underneath this i don't know if it's really worth doing that but i thought it was fun at the time when i was building it. i thought this was fun whether or not that will actually fun uh, I don't know this one's gonna go over and uh, up like this and then I think just to prevent this thing from being on the road I want the taxi with foundation to continue all the way down like that do we have stands hold on we need stands I got one here the structure ones, I mean. These, um, the service car stops. There. This one is supposed to go to this, I think. So we'll have another one. Uh, it's not you, it's 
you this one, service car stop. And we'll do the same thing with this one here. So this one will go to that, this one will go to that. All right, and then you are gonna go to this one and then we're gonna have another one, we need another one here. Hmm. Where am I gonna put you? We can just have you cross, I guess? You know what, the car's gonna bring him in anyway. Pretty sure that's what happens. We'll go like this. I'm pretty sure the car's gonna bring him in. Have a stand go there. Or, a, you, you get it, a parking lot. Parking thing. I've been talking too much, guys. Way too much talking today. How come these things didn't get built? Guys, I can't actually get this thing going until you build that thing. Uh, where's my security thing? It's right there. Okay. I want to take a wall. Bring a wall right there. I think we're going to let all the people who want to get out of the airport like that, they're all going to get out over here. I think this is the new exit. You exit the whole airport that way. I could also... I have I have the room to do so. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. We're going to shift the exit over to here too. And then this exit... Yeah, we'll have them exit this way. Like, really all of this will go. So once workers do that, and then we can pop in another one of these once they're done too. They just have so much to do. There's so much to build. I need to let it run. I got seven and a half million dollars, guys. And I haven't even opened that giant expensive terminal over there in which about 90% of the cost is already paid for. I still have to do a subway. Haven't figured that one out yet. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't even know how big it's gonna be. Um, subway entrance. I guess it can be over here. That's cool. Uh, we want the subway entrance to be inside. Can I do that? I can't do that, but I can. I can't do this, but I can do this. They'll go through security. They'll be outside in the secure area. And they'll just go down to the subway. Which will be down here. And all of this will happen. And then they'll be taken where they need to go. That's how that will happen. So once you're done going through security. You can then come down here. To that subway entrance. Take you down where you need to go. That's how it'll play out. And all of this is secure still, right? Well, it's going to be, because we're gonna make it secure. We're gonna say that it is a sidewalk. Yep, and then because it is a sidewalk, it is now secure. Or, yeah, like that. It is now secure. Okay. And then they can come down here and Hopefully, we'll have a subway. I'm not in, like, how do we build the subway? Efficient but costly way of getting passengers and staff to and from your airport. I mean, to and from the airport. Oh wait, do they, are this, is this a way for them to leave? I think that's a way for them to leave. Hmm, no. Maybe getting to and from your airport. I mean, if I put another entrance, like it doesn't look like I get to control where the subway goes. Like it's gonna build it, but that's, it doesn't look like I'm able to control that. Hold on, now if I was to, if I put this here, for example, if I take I don't like the deliveries being here either, but if I was to put the subway right here, no, I want it over here. I don't know where I want it actually. Yeah, I want it over by this one. If I put the subway here, right, 
I can't actually control like any trains. So am I going to need bus services to do my idea? Or is my idea just crap? The idea was to have them do all the stuff there and then get on the train and off you go. But it looks like I might need an underground walkway. You can escalate her down the underground walkway all the way down in my tunnel. And then we'll use the... Oh, where is it? Not the one-way road, although I do like those. No, I'm looking for... Is it just ele elevator walk evader? Maybe that's it. Okay, it's in here. This really... This walk evader, uh, walk evader right? 72. walk elators whatever. Uh, moving walkways, which enables passengers to cover more ground in a shorter time. We can have them walk with this giant thing. And I can have them just, you know... They can just go where they need to go. On these. Underground. That's gonna be my compromise. Maybe that's a good compromise. If that's how this works, then I... Oh, look at this stupid thing. It's still in like this. I never fixed it. I looked right at it. I even made fun of it. Never fixed it. I have so many workmen. So many work projects. I need to let it run so they can finish all these giant things. Guys, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you. If you like the videos, you can give them a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to take and delete this subway just in case I will see how the other subway works. And uh, I will evaluate where to, what to do from there after I see how this one works. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.